Automycosis or fungal otitis externa is the fungal infection of the external ear. The tympanic membrane and the external order canal are mainly affected. And the most common organism causing automycosis is Aspergillus niger. And on autoscopic examination, Aspergillus niger will show black colonies on tympanic membrane and external order canal. Okay. If it is Aspergillus fumigatus, it will show greenish blue colony. And if it is Candida, it will show creamy white colony. And the infection of Candida is common in ICU patients. Okay, Aspergillus niger is common agent for causing automycosis and Aspergillus fumigatus is common agent for causing fungal sinusitis. Okay, so we'll go hand in hand. And the overall automycosis is common in tropics and diabetics. In tropics due to wet and hot climate and diabetics due to lower immunity. Now, if there is fungal infection in any part of the body, the most common symptom is itching. So, patient will complain of itching, there will be earfulness and impairment of hearing and there will be ear discharge, which will be watery with musty odor. Okay. By the way, what are the things which you should ask if the patient says of ear discharge or complains of ear discharge? Let's list out them. First one is the smell of the discharge, right? Whether it is foul smelling or non foul smelling, foul smelling discharge is present in infection caused by anaerobes like peptostreptococci, or it could be due to necrosis of the bone. Necrosis of the bone will release mercaptans, and that's also foul smelling, like in unsafe type of CSOM. You'll ask for the consistency of the discharge, whether it is forming strings or no. If it is stringy and mucoid, that's generally from the middle ear because middle ear mucosa contains goblet cell, whether and goblet cells are not present in the external ear. You'll ask for the color of the discharge, whether it is creamy yellow or greenish like in Pseudomonas or Aspergillus fumigatus. You'll ask whether it is blood stained or no blood stained discharge is normally present in uh, it's present in a chronic superative otitis media unsafe type. You'll ask whether it is watery or no watery pure watery discharge is present in CSF autoria. You'll ask for the quantity of the discharge quantity could be scanty how would you define scanty if you put a swab inside the ear if it just gets stained by the discharge that means the discharge is scanty if you see the discharge in the external artery canal that means the discharge is moderate and that if that discharge stains the pillow the discharge is profuse you'll ask for the stage of the discharge whether discharge is present or no if it is present you label it as active you, you label it as inactive if the discharge is not present. You label it as quincent if the patient says discharge is not there but comes again, it goes and comes again. You label it, label it as quincent. And one more important thing, you'll ask for the associated features of upper respiratory tract infection because it might be the source of starting of disease. Okay, so these are the things which you'll ask if the patient complains of ear discharge. What are the signs? The external artery canal skin will be inflamed, there will be tenderness and the tympanic membrane may show wet blotting paper appearance due to fluffy shadow against the semi-transparent membrane. This is important. Treatment could be by oral syringing but now what we prefer is examination under microscope and suction. This is examination under microscope right and we do suction to remove the fungal debris this is the preferred modality of the treatment of course we'll give comoxyclaves and eardrop should be a combination of antifungals like clotrimazole antimicrobials like ciplox or ofloxacin right analgesics like lignocaine and steroids like beclomethasone and since the fungal hyphen invades the epithelium it is also important to remove the superficial epithelium by giving a keratolytic agent like 2% salicylic acid in alcohol and salicylic acid is also acidic in nature this will bring down the pH of the external or canal.